Hello everyone. So the next topic that we're going to talk about is special procurement types or special stocks. Now these stocks or these processes are different from the standard or regular purchase process. And these are carried out in specific companies or specific types of situations based on the purchase requirement and the internal process of the company. Now there are four commonly used procurement types or stock types, contracting, consignment, pipeline, and stock transport order. Let's look at each of these things. First one is the subcontracting process. Now in the standard process, the production of any finished product will be carried out internally within the company. However, if the production resources are not sufficient to meet the production target, the company, instead of losing the order, may outsource the production activity to an external agency or entity. And that's basically what the subcontracting process is all about. Now, during this outsourcing of the production process to an external agency, uh, an external entity to meet the production target, usually the company doing the outsourcing will provide the raw material along with the ratio of the material to be used to manufacture the finished product. Now, whether the manufacturing process has to be outsourced or carried out internally. The number of elements or the number of components required to manufacture a finished product along with their ratio has to be maintained in the company. This information is maintained in a document called Bill of Material, which will be created by the planning or mechanical engineering department and maintained by the production department. So for example, if you have a finished product which is manufactured using two items, RM1 and RM2 in the ratio of 13 and 17. So this information has to be maintained in the bill of material. So in order to carry out the subcontracting process in any company, the vendor or the external entity not only has to be given this information, but also needs to be provided the raw material sufficient to manufacture the finished product requirement. So let's see how to carry out these activities. In order to create the bill of material, we need to maintain the MRP plan parameters. So first, let's see how to maintain the activities for carrying out the subcontracting process. So we go to the transaction SPRO, IMG, materials management, Click on execute, click on copy. Since these parameters include both MM and the PP related information, for practice, we're going to copy from the standard plan, mm -hmm. which is 100 to one of the two plans in our company code and save it. At this time, we're not going to talk about the details of these plan parameters, just that we are going to maintain the parameters. Next step would be to create the material, the finished product, and along with the finished product, we also need to create the two raw material which are required for manufacturing the finished product. Then we create the, we maintain the stock for the raw material, then we create a subcontracting vendor, then we maintain the subcontracting info record. So we'll carry out this activity. Industry sector, again, we're going to select the standard industry sector, mechanical engineering. Finished product, code is FERT. Select it. If you want, you can enter one of the reference document, the reference material. When you're creating the finished product, select the standard five views plus MRP1, MRP2, and MRP3. Enter the plan for where we have just copied the plan parameters. VGP1 and maintain the details. So here, this is subcontract finished goods. The information in most of the views is standard, except in the MRP1 view. In MRP type, we are going to select the option ND no planning because the MRP views we are maintaining at this time is only for creating the bill of material. 
procurement type in MRP2, we're going to select external procurement. And in special procurement, we're going to specify that it is subcontracting process. Plan delivery time, you can specify it as one. In MRP3, availability check, select KP, no check. Once you have maintained the data, the rest of the information is standard. Valuation class for the finished product is 7920 and maintain some price. Mm -hmm. Save it. Similarly, create the two raw material required. So I'm going to select the standard ROH, select the normal five views and maintain the data. So here again, I'm going to specify that it is subcontract the raw material one. Now for the practice, I'm just taking two items or two elements, components for creation. Once you have created the material, now I need to maintain the stock for this material. So go to the transaction code MB1C, enter the moment type 561, enter the plant where you have created the material and the storage location. 561 is used for maintaining the stock of the material without any reference or without purchase or without reference to any pro other process. So enter the Material number, maintain some good amount of uh, good quantity. So this material number. Press enter and save it. So if you get this error, again, let's solve it. Once you have resolved the issue, press enter and save it. Once the stock is maintained, now I need to create a subcontracting vendor. It's the standard process. There is no specific information that you need to maintain. Or if you want, you can use a reference vendor for creating the vendor. Then vendor information is standard. There is no specific information to be maintained to indicate that it is. This vendor is used for a for the subcontracting process. Okay. Save it. Now I need to create this subcontracting info record. 